Welcome back to my channel. So the time has come and tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. I'm super excited. So excited. So excited. What I'm not excited about. Yes, I am excited about blowing my hair out. Literally two hours and some change later. I'm all blowed out. Put this. I'm going to show y'all tomorrow morning when it's all over my head. And then I'm gonna show you when I get there. I'm gonna show you when it's done. Okay. So I made it to my apartment. So I'm sitting outside. I'm kind of like 12 minutes early. I was gonna do my little one, two. Love. I brought my foundation to do my makeup, but I'm not. My face already bro breaking out. Make sure y'all are cleaning your brushes because that's why my face breaking out. the day I did my makeup but um so yeah I guess I don't know if I should just go ahead in there now let's get this party started but I'm gonna wait to um 8.50 or 8.55 and then go up and knock on her door but I'm super excited can we see I'll see I might be trying to um a different look if she's okay with it so we'll see when i get back on here but yeah all right okay you guys and six hours later I'm done. I went in at she got started right at 9 o'clock and it is 3.54 so yeah and these are my results y'all like baby every single time she delivers that's why I only go to her like professionally and spending real money getting braids I'm always gonna go to her like look at my hair like look at my fucking hair I love my hair. It's so cute. All right. I'm about to go take a thousand pictures. I'm about to do the most. I'm feeling myself. All right. Bye. All the human beings that actually can take a nap is watching me. I literally was laying down for an hour. No phone, no TV, no nothing. And I'm so, so sleepy. And I can't even go to sleep. I'm so, so frustrated about it, but I, did, I decided to get up and paint. So, I'm about to prepare myself. My, I, I'm about so to prepare myself. To up. I have my, <laughs> my painting board right there. Listen, if y'all have a stand, this is very, very handy. And I got a whole bunch of paint, like a variety, because I got this. And I, I got this back. I got all of them. They just fell out in a box. And these are metallic. 
All right, this what I have done so far. Get into the details. <laughs> Look why I'm being so silly. But this is supposed to be saying. Yeah, I don't know. But y'all gonna know. I'm an artiza. Yes, artiza. Artiza. Got a little paint on my tongue. But that's okay. Well, 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 well. I'm not the same. I'm not like you guys. I'm so different. <laughs> I can't even take my own stuff seriously. Okay, it originated from this TikTok video, me doing um, like add an extra uh, sounds on how I speak. Okay, my sister wanted me to watch this video, the TikTok video. She sent it to me already, but she just died off for of me to watch this video. So I grant her wish. I watched it and and so she sent to me one time all right I watched it kiki kiki I said some back then she sent it to me another time oh I said okay so do you want me to act so that's how you want me to act that's how you want me to the talk since you want to sit the I don't know why the second time be just resonated with me so much more than the first time because every every that last time she sent it that was it it just caught on to me like fire and so that's my thing when I talk to them I hope I explained that right I be I don't know if y'all do this, but like I can be talking and then literally by the time I get to the end of the sentence, it's gone. It is out back. Yeah. Darling, amazing grace. in a weird space like sometimes my mind has ever since I stopped drinking and smoking I really didn't stop smoking but anyways my mind has been getting so sober to the point where I'll be like you know what the old me would want to vent to somebody about this. And now I'm just like, girl, go write that in your journal. You don't need to, you need to get no, sometimes you, some things you should just deal with on your own. And I'm learning that too. And, and I'm noticing where right now, where I'm in in life, it's like, I don't be having that. Sometimes I don't even be. Sometimes I want to talk and sometimes I don't because it's like, I don't be, I don't be having anything to talk about. And the stuff that I be going on with me, I, I don't even want to talk about that. I, I don't want to share that. I don't want to re remember that I got this shit going on shit. And so sometimes I just want to be like, I just want to be with me. And I be... And it's like, I be feeling like, maybe that's a little selfish or I can't be like that because it's just like, now when I come out this, whatever I'm going through, okay, I, I, I'm going to hang out or maybe that's normal, that's natural. But sometimes I just be want to be, to just be. And I know it's like, 
the old me will want to will force myself to do stuff I don't want to do. Whether that's like be on the phone if I don't want to be on the phone, listen to some shit if I don't want to, I don't, I really don't want to listen to, and I'm not talking about nobody in particular or anything like that, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I'm just getting to the place where I'm, I'm, I'm learning, teaching myself, like, not to, if you don't want to do it, don't, you don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Is that, that's considered people pleasing? Maybe. Then I got a case of people pleasing. I gotta work on that. If I do. But I just let me have nothing to talk about. Well, I do. But I, I don't even want to share it because I feel like I have shared so much stuff with people trying to get some type of result people just don't be happy people if they're not on a sometimes people just don't give you good advice and the best thing the best thing you can do is keep it to your journal figure it out on your own sometimes or like i've been listening to a lot of a lot not a lot i'm on my second positive book just listen to just positive stuff You know, and I see if that's gonna see if that's gonna help me or because right now it's like you you be looking for I don't know if y'all do this y'all probably not y'all probably don't do that but I do go to people and look for answers or just try to get some type of solution for or some some type of answer it really is an answer of what you're going through or like to help you help yourself and sometimes people just it, it be feeling like a waste because people don't be pouring into you like maybe you wanted them to or yeah maybe you wanted them to but I'm, i don't hold that against them because they probably giving their best advice even though know, you probably don't think it's good or it's not, it's not, it might be not the, it might not be the advice you, you was looking for. Because sometimes we do be having expectations on the advice we get. And sometimes, and, and people be going through their own thing. And maybe sometimes they just don't be in the headspace to give you good advice. Or maybe shit they don't want to and they just, and that's okay. It don't make them a bad person. It just makes them human and it just means you need to figure out whatever you whatever you going through on your own and i'm not talking about no one or in particular i'm just saying in general i i'm kind of reflecting on things i've done per se in my life so yeah Oh yeah, I'm almost done. I'm so silly. So embarrassing. I'm doing this. Okay. I just feel like talking. I love talking to the vlog. I love talking. Okay, so this is saying just the scenery. This is sunset. Different layers. And that's the sky. I'm working on a cloud as we <laughs> but yeah I'm just so I'm not gonna lie like I'm, I'm learning that I have to let my emotions just pass because sometimes I'll be feeling like oh my god like I thought I was doing better it's like it's okay to be all over the place for a moment with your thoughts you feel me just let your emotion emotions wear off and everything you'll get you go back to your senses your right mind and everything will be okay
Now, three cornbread and some apples. I previously previously made before um blueberry. Uh, what's it called blueberry cornbread so now i'm about to try with apples because i don't have no blueberries and all right so first thing i'm gonna do i gotta cut up the apples so that's what y'all about to see me do cut it up and cook them all right that was so lame so this is one of the reasons i hate getting my apples from sam's or walmart i just cut this open and why the frick it be like this? I had got some apples from Sam's and they had a lot of brown spots in my apple like this. Even my lemons that I got from Sam's. But I got these apples from Walmart. This is so fucking weird. Okay, because one of the apples was bad, I threw one away. I think I'm going to just work with two. So first we're going to start off with some butter. First ingredient, all you need is butter, honey, or agave. So this is some raw, that's all you need. Butter, honey, cinnamon. If you don't have honey, use agave. If you don't have agave, use syrup or sugar but anyway <gasps> ah! shit i'm gonna put a scratch in let me get this y'all do not use a knife to cook in y'all new pots okay oh it's real quick why it start i'm thinking i'm on i ought to make one half apples and the other have peaches because I do have peaches and it kind of be like a cobbler situation going on. I think I might try it. Should I? I'm definitely gonna try it. I'm about to do it because it's like, why not? I have nothing else to do. Okay, let's get into it. But all right, so my butter is already heated up. Once your butter gets to, you know, all melted down, you add in. You gotta wash this honey. This honey come out so fast. Oh. Okay. Okay. I wish I had some nutmeg. I had some nutmeg, y'all. That nutmeg. I don't know. I like the taste of this one. Just mix together. Hold on. I'm about to go ahead and make the cornbread. I'm gonna just do the cornbread as normal, like the directions say on the box. So, this is how I look. Presentation, like I say, is not key. But, as long as it tastes good, I'm good. Y'all, this is how it came out. Don't look bad. Look good. Look like a... Uh, What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dayla Do. If you haven't already, go out this vlog. Subscribe and come back, like, and comment. So today I'm about to go to BJ Seafood in Hammond for literally 30 minutes. And I'm just like debating if like should I do a little one two and the answer is yes
So I'm finally ready. I don't like my makeup. I don't think I should have put the concealer on, but we're gonna go with it. I'm not taking it off. So the first stop, I said I was going to TJ Maxx. I may not go because it's already 2 30 and I'm super hungry. So I might just go to BJ's and come back. We'll see. But off I go. Okay, so ooh, one more green is like so I did not go to TJ Maxx like when I got in the car and started driving, I was like, yeah, I think I'ma go ahead and not go. You know how you just automatic feel like yeah, I ain't going there, I'm just gonna get this and come back. So I stopped at Walmart. Well, I got some gas first because I was going to eat. And then I stopped at Walmart to get some cooking oil because I know I had no cooking oil. And guess what I forgot? I forgot the, um, because I'm cooking fried shrimp and fish. So, I, so I forgot the, the, um, what's the battery y'all put the, you fried the fish fry and I don't have no bread, which is so annoying. And, I forgot you, I have to get tomatoes and stuff just to make it a whole, a whole meal, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be plain. Oh, I think I want to get pickles as well. So I got to go back to Walmart. And then after that, I'm going home. Deveined the shrimp, cleaned them off, and it's time to fry them. I feel like this took forever. Oh, look, let me back you up because you can't see me. Uh, damn it, about now. No, it's so annoying. See, that's I honestly don't know how to work this camera. Let's do it like this, okay? But my background. Blurry. I don't know if y'all do this, but I do. A light bit of Tony. Oh, damn. Oh, y'all. Let me put y'all on to something, y'all. I randomly saw these in Walmart, and I was like, these was three ninety seven dollars uh, and the, the regular kosher dill pickle ones sam was three fifty seven. dollars So I was like, I might as well get these. These look like they made me more healthier. And I read the back, back of the ingredients and they were. When I tell you, these are a hit. Y'all really need to go get you some. And we, once you try them, if you like them, comment under the video because I put you on. I definitely put you on. This is how y'all can tell. She ready. She ready. Okay. The fish is now the grease, so I'm not going to eat that first. I'm going to start with the this sandwich what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Dayla Do. if you haven't already go out this vlog come back to the vlog wait go out this vlog subscribe come back Hit the post notification bell. I don't know if it's before. Hit the post notification bell so you can catch up on all my latest videos. And make sure you like it. And make sure you comment. Because I want to talk. I keep telling y'all I want to talk. And y'all want to tell me that. Alright. So let's get into it. So yesterday it was very 
bad. I ate so bad. I had fried shrimp, fried fish. I just wasn't up to par for as my eating healthy journey. So today, to make it better, I'm going to juice me a whole watermelon. If I have room to juice a whole watermelon. So let's get into that. Okay, shall we? All right. So. This is my juicy. If y'all was wondering what kind of juicy I have. I don't I don't have a strainer here. So hopefully I don't need a strainer, but it is what it's gonna be. Y'all. At one point I was juicing every day. with stuff i feel like if i was more like in one house i would be more consistent but i'm always moving so let's get this freaking watermelon you guys if you made it this far that means you watched the whole entire video and i'm so grateful for that thank you so much for your support and i don't know if i mentioned it in my previous videos but the watermelon juice was the bomb i recommend y'all try it but until next time toodles